again, everyone, and welcome to the fall edition of The Joffis. Now, fall season is my favorite season of the year. It has everyone's favorite holiday in the world, American Thanksgiving. We've got pumpkin spice flavored everything. And of course, as you saw last week, hockey season starts again, which makes this the greatest season of all time. Now, um, we have some awesome announcements this week. I have a lot of things to go over for UFS, uh, a few announcements on our other games, a lot of organized play stuff, so let's just jump right in. So to start out, uh, I'm going to address the Turbo format. So for Turbo, um, one of the most complicated things we've had going on is the Matcharino reporting system. We implemented Matcharino so that we could do the single elimination brackets. Well, since we've gotten rid of that, we've made an executive decision to just drop Matcharino reporting and report direct to Jasco Games. So this should make your scout's job and your store's job a lot easier to run these events. Additionally, obviously this is an invitational tournament, so you have to win a Turbo event to go play in US Nationals, or sorry, Turbo Worlds. Um, so to win that event, obviously you gotta go to your, your local Turbo qualifier, win, and you qualify and you get points and, and other things. Now what we're gonna be doing though is instead of registering through Match Arena, which your store previously had to do, they're gonna take registration directly and we're no longer taking any entry fees back to pay for the car that we're giving away to the winner of Turbo Worlds. Um, the Turbo Charge car is now just going to be completely taken care of by Jasco Games. And if you didn't know, the winner of Turbo Worlds wins a car. One thing special we've done with this car, we've talked about this before, is instead of giving you a brand new car, which you would be taxed fairly heavily on, We've bought, well, we've purchased an old car um, that's the, for about like five or six hundred bucks. So that's going to be your uh, tax bill is on the actual purchase of price of the car. Now we've completely gutted the car, put in a new engine, new interior, painted it. The, basically, it's, it's basically a brand new car. Um, but to avoid the giant taxes, we've done this a certain way. So the winner of this will be getting a cool UFS turbocharged car. We'll be showing that off as soon as the paint job is done, pretty shortly. Um, but most importantly, now registering for turbo events and playing in turbo events is going to be a lot easier. Uh, your store just has to sign up for the event, you show up, and then try to qualify for Turbo Worlds. Uh, next up, our organized play site. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different types of events you can sign up for now. We have turbo events, PTC events, weekly events for prize support, uh, the upcoming DLC events, premier store tournaments, and uh, so what we're going to do and then obviously you can sign up for nationals and worlds depending on your country. And uh, this is all getting fairly convoluted and complicated. So what we're gonna be doing is working on a new OP part of our website, the organized play page. Um, and we're hoping to put a lot more picture content and fewer text links. So it's easier to find what's going on. And we wanna help support not only what the store involvement is and what, what's you know the organized play side of it, but also what the price support is, um, how often you need to register. And for registering, we're actually gonna break this up now into the multiple types of events. So we'll have turbo registration, PTC registration, weekly price support registration, so you can sign up for that. DLC registration, if you're a premier store, you can register for a premier store event. Or finally, uh, we're gonna have a master registration where if you qualify, you can just sign up for everything all at once for you know one or two months at a time or whatever to just save the hassle so you don't have to go fill out all these separate forms. Um, the only requirement still, unless you're a premier store, obviously that's the only way to do the premier store events, but otherwise, to sign up for these events, um, you just have to put in the application and stock UFS. Uh, we're also gonna make that process easier. Instead of checking your stock constantly, what we're gonna do is probably twice a year, we'll just do a random stock check, make sure that you still carry UFS, and if you do, we'll continue to send you free price support. If you don't, we'll address that, we'll give you a warning, hopefully you stock some product if you wanna continue to carry price support, and go from there. So that's, uh, that's a lot on turbo and organized play. Um, we're hopefully going to be making this uh, smoother and easier for everyone. This is an ongoing process. Organized play is never really going to be perfect, so we're going to be doing our best to improve this as often as possible. And anytime there's something that's a little clunky, or maybe you can't find a type of an event, or what kind of deck you need to be using in that event, or how to report it, or any question like that at all, please uh, please send that into the suggestion box so that we can improve that for you and make your lives as easy as possible so you can just have fun playing UFS. Um, up next, a, a couple of updates. So 
Uh, there's recently been a UTS update on Kickstarter for the miniatures game for Street Fighter. Um, the only thing I want to say, in case you didn't read that update, is there's going to be a slight delay on production strictly because our schedule that we've passed through Capcom for the approvals process has been asked to be slowed down just a little bit from the Capcom side. Um, if you're not aware, when you're doing approvals for a licensed pro property, the official owners have to approve everything and, and make sure that it's to their standards and everything else. Well, we've kind of been overloading them with tons and tons and tons of artwork. Over 250 unique pieces of artwork are still being sent in. We've had the sculpts, the boards, all kinds of different things. So they've asked us to just slow it down a little bit so that their approvals team can focus on the approvals a little bit more closely. So we're, we're submitting, I, I think it's about 20 pieces of art a week now instead of everything all at once. Um, this also means things like packaging for UFS or other you know, Street Fighter or Capcom related properties might have to be stuck into the schedule accordingly so that they still hit their release dates. But overall, um, there's just a lot of stuff going in through the approval system. So that is going to cause a delay on the production. It has really nothing to do with manufacturing or anything like that, but uh, just wanted everyone to be aware. So, you know, that's, that's going to be coming in a little bit later than we had anticipated, but it's not the end of the world. That's not a terrible delay. Next up, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is getting a reprint again. And the expansion is coming in with the Cowboy Bebop game. Now we've mentioned this several times before, but finally um, it looks like it's about to be finished up and on its way to us on the boat, which means we'll be able to give a Q4 release date most likely for these, if not a Q1. The only reason we'd push it to Q1 is because we don't think that it's going to be at a good timing for Christmas. Um, so just keep an eye out for those. Both of these games are awesome. I'm really excited, especially for the Cowboy Bebop game. The, the Buffy game has been one of my favorite board games to play, and the expansion makes it even harder and more awesome. Uh, and Cowboy Bebop has just been long overdue in the waiting, so I'm really excited to play that with everyone as well. Finally, U.S. Nationals for UFS is coming up October 19th through 22nd. Uh, today is the final day with the extension to get your hotel rooms booked. So use the code JAS for the Jasco games rate. You'll get $99 room, I think it is, um, per night. So check that out. Hope to see you at US Nationals. And sorry for the long introduction, but welcome to this week's episode of The Joffis. How's it going, everybody? Luke Butler here, and I'm bringing you some information about the Premier Store placards. So this is the Street Fighter vs. Darkstalker Premier Store placard. Uh, it's a very nice piece of art. I love all the detail that's going on in here. You can really just zoom in and see a lot of great stuff. Uh, but something that we're going to be doing with our placards, uh, starting with the May set, is on the back of them, instead of just being a blank, boring white, we're going to have uh, an additional piece of art with the release date on the back. So what Premier Stores can do is they can... Uh, as soon as their pre-release event happens, they can slot these uh, placards into their display, uh, and it will display when the release date is for all to see. So look forward to that. It's going to be also be some extra art, some good stuff that will be happening on the May set. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. Enjoy the rest of the Joffis. Hey guys, uh, Sean Canada here. Uh, just a few things to talk about, uh, not as much as last week. It was, you know, good for me, uh, maybe for you as well. But uh, it's been uh, getting a lot of the prize support sent out for the beginning of the month. Uh, all the premier store kits, uh, store monthly promos, uh, getting the scout support out uh, for the scouts. Uh, working on a little bit of the art direction uh, for one of the feature sets. So I'm gonna get some cool art directed for you. Jason said earlier we are. Uh, also going to be working on a new uh, organized play page for the website because uh, as we were packing up all the orders, uh, kind of realizing we need a more efficient way to do things uh, instead of having you know cross check you know multiple different Excel sheets with like order lists and all that. So uh, like I said, we're going to be working on a, it's a new organized play page as uh, that big, like big bright colorful with pictures, not just a wall of text. Very important, and uh, it's going to be kind of like a one-stop shop where stores can order uh, their monthly price support, uh, premier stores can sign up for their premier store events, and when we have our future like uh, limited time events like our DLC uh, monthly events, you can sign up for those, or premier stores just have like, you know, a, a, a click all button just for, like register like everything at once. So it'll be uh, easier for the stores, easier for us, just a win-win for everybody, and uh, we're looking forward to that. And uh, there's everything else, I've uh, just got to... A few other events this weekend. Uh, we have our premier store events. 
We have one in uh, South Carolina, the Case, or Casey, still never figured out how to say that, but it's at uh, Ready to Play. That'll be on uh, Saturday the 6th, as well as in Georgia at uh, Challenges Games and Comics in uh, Decatur. Uh, nice little preview for uh, U.S. Nats in a couple weeks. And then we also have a premier store in Texas at uh, Night Owl Games down in San Antonio. So uh, if you're uh, down in there, uh, just give it a check out. Uh, this month, a uh, premier store event, we had a chance to get the Johnny Cage uh, play mats for your store, champion, uh, store championship play mats, and uh, also the Miska Avoiding Danger Action, uh, which is a reprint from Red Horizon 1. It's a cool new uh, full art uh, and a new framework. Then also on Saturday, we have our uh, PTC event in Tampa, in uh, kind of like North East Tampa, I think, in uh, Temple Terrace, Florida. So uh, if you're in, in Florida, come support that. Uh, get your uh, plane ticket to Nats or Worlds. Uh, be a good time there. And then by the time the Jaffa's airs next week, we also will have a uh, premier store event Friday the 12th, also in Florida, at Adventure Game Store. Yes, the Adventure Game Store in uh, Davie, Florida, so it's on the little other side. But those will be all the upcoming events. So uh, if you're in the area, check them out, and have fun playing UFS. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Art Corner this week. Uh, I've been working on a lot of different things, going to final on a lot of things, going to print on a lot of different things, um, just kind of wrapping things up the, from where I had a mini break from moving out here. Uh, DLC packs are definitely something that I've been working on. Um, we're moving forward with those pretty pretty quickly. And in addition, as of this recording, it is night one of the Vegas Golden Knights playing. So even though I'm in Chicago, uh, go Knights go. What's up everybody? I am at the Las Vegas airport on my way to the Tampa PTC. I have a very spicy boss battle deck. So if you are there, I will see you there. Hey everybody, welcome to Suggestion Box Corner. I've got two UFS suggestions this week, so we're gonna start off right away. Um, first on, we have, on an episode of The Joffice, I heard that you were looking for ideas for circuit events that last five to six months or even a year. What are the chances of getting a circuit event like Path of the Master complete with foundations, assets, or attacks of power or similar prizing starting for next year? Um, this is, Actually, we're doing something really similar. I mentioned a little bit about the DLC events that we're going to be doing next year. This is actually a monthly event that all stores can uh, take part in. Uh, additionally, something more like Path of the Master or a really specific themed type of event is something we're looking to do, but it's not exactly the circuit type of event we're looking for. This is more of a, a local show up and play, um, any store can sign up sort of event that uh, that's mentioned here. We're definitely going to do something like this, um, but for setting up like a private circuit we're hoping that we can get some people out of the woodworks that are really passionate about the game that want to run their own event circuits so uh so like an independent uh indie tournament um so to speak so that's that's really what we're looking for we're going to be adding a lot more types of events as you saw earlier from the prize support list and the organized play site updates we're going to be making um, they're really several types of events to be played and we're only adding to that in fact we're going to be adding a lot more casual style events as well uh, next suggestion is uh, there's a new set coming out in two months and we haven't gotten hints about the character list. We need previews for hype. Well, you are in luck. Uh, at US Nationals, we're going to be doing our first previews and I believe we plan to preview about a quarter of the set, including all the characters. That's the plan anyway. Um, at least I think it is. So come to Nationals and you'll definitely see the cards early and then you'll be getting a lot of spoilers from that point on. Um, in the future, one of the things we've planned to do is do our, our preview cards probably about two months before the release moving forward. Uh, what this does, uh, we've really liked keeping a lot of cards secret because there are uh, a large portion of there, there is a large portion of the community that likes to be surprised when the set comes out. Um, but on that note, there also is a business side to this that, um, that we need to keep in mind, which is because the cards have to go to retail and distribution before they hit the players, we not only need to hype up the set for the players, but we need to hype it up for the retailers and for the distributors who are getting the cards way earlier than typically we uh, do our spoilers. So uh, moving forward, we'd like to do spoilers uh, or preview cards as we call them six to eight weeks ahead of the release. Uh, hopefully that's 
you know, we, we hit that deadline. Um, because what this does is it's going to allow you guys to tell your stores to stock earlier, which means stores are going to get their pre-orders in earlier to distribution, which means they won't run out of product, which is something that they typically do. The distributors base everything on pre-orders for the most part. And, and because of that, a lot of stores don't put in the correct number of pre-orders on time, which will cause delays for them to get restocks, or maybe they can't even get it stocked at all. So this new strategy should help. We've also been working direct with distribution a lot to really improve um, the number of items you can order from a distributor direct, uh, so you don't have to go to Jasco Games as a store to get your product. Um, but otherwise, stay tuned. You will get some hype stuff, and we're going to be doing some sneak peeks of the next set at U.S. Nationals. So we hope to see you guys there. How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Luke Butler here. No. It's not? <laughs> I'm not your boy. Do you have suggestion-based rabies? Maybe. Or maybes. Stop. And... Uh. Uh. Yes, it's your wife who here, Luke Butler. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>